Hello, Laura Bonebreaker, or DJ Bonebreaker here. I realize I don't usually post much in the way of, like, video logs here on YouTube, but today is something special. You see, I have a most wonderful friend named Catherine, or Rin, Martin, whom I met via a mutual friend in the online game Final Fantasy XIV, and a chance meeting turned into close friendship and over the past two and a half years I've known her, Rin and her family have helped me through some fairly dark times in my life, such as when my wife left me, or when my mom finally lost her battle with cancer. And yes, this is the same Rin who follows my Minecraft videos on this channel, and who I've given several shoutouts to. But anyways, it's largely thanks to Rin's support and encouragement that I finally decided to get back to my own artistic endeavors, and if it weren't for her, then I'd have never started my artist Facebook page and started adding art to my DeviantArt page, nor would my SoundCloud page exist, and my YouTube channel here would still just be, you know, basically gathering dust. I know that I'll be eternally grateful for the support that Rin and her family have given me during these difficult times, as well as her help in finally reawakening my artistic side. For my part, when I found out fairly early on in our friendship that Rin was aspiring to become a professional author and get her books published, I immediately became part of her cheering section. I tried my best to offer whatever encouragement I could to her as she navigated the perilous and difficult labyrinth known as the process of getting one's books published and comforted her during the times when it seemed like she might never achieve her goal. Therefore, when I found out last December that her first book series, The Snow Spark Saga, had finally been picked up for publication, I was quite beside myself with joy. So it is with great pleasure that I've been given the privilege of participating in the cover reveal for the first book in the series, The Bone Roses, which is due out in May or June of this year. The book is kind of a sci-fi post-apocalyptic western that from what she's told me about it, as well as the official info released by the publisher, seems to be something along the lines of what you get if you mix together the uh, Hunger Games, Trigun, and Fallout New Vegas. So in other words, it'd be something right up my alley. <laughs> but yeah, according to the uh, publisher's blurb that was released with the uh, media package for the cover reveal, it's like, The Bone Roses, Snow Spark Saga Number 1, published by Parliament House Press. So 16-year-old Rags is the most feared wrestler in the world, and for good reason. When she's not raiding the post-Yellowstone Kingdom's established settlements for supplies to keep her frontier, Rondo, alive another day, she's fending off witch-hunt happy villagers who want her rare blue eyes in an unmarked grave. But when the Kingdom strikes back, kills Rags' best friend, and sends a second-in-command to destroy Rondo in four days, Rags must make a choice. Seek revenge or saved her loved ones who are trapped in a town bound for slaughter broadcast kingdom-wide. With little more than a stolen dream to guide her and a growing attraction to a sly kingdom of Foreman, Rags is about to give the kingdom four days they'll never forget if the bounty on her head doesn't get her killed first. And the, in the about the author part of the official media package, it's like it, it says, of course, Catherine Lee Martin, known as Rin by her friends and colleagues, as you well know from you know much previous shoutouts, spends her days saddling up the uh, literary horse and hitting the what if trails on a quest to tell the outlaws and underdog stories. Not one to shy away from the darker side of stories for the older young adult audience, her works often explore impossible odds and dire futures falling into a fusion of post-apocalyptic science fiction meets the gritty lawlessness of the Old West with a dash of fantasy and steampunk. Putting her unfortunate characters in situations where faith and fighting often go hand in hand, she's not afraid to make things difficult for them, and when she's not corrupting society on paper, she's usually leading the rebellion to save it. As an avid outdoors woman at heart, Catherine spends her days living a quiet, faith-filled life on her family's small farmstead, where she can usually be found working in her vegetable garden, spending time with her family, and playing the role of critter mom to a border collie, several cats, three goats, and a donkey. Now, this gets some interesting little anecdotes here. Um, her donkey's name is Rags. And I asked her, and she confirmed that the donkey is named after the main character in her book, because, as she put it, like the main character, 
her donkey is is generally nice but can be really stubborn and uh, difficult to work with at times. <laughs> and her border collie is named Rory Pond. Yes, after that Rory from Doctor Who. I I fell. I was basically rolling on the floor, laughing my butt off the first time I heard that. <laughs> And uh, she and I have actually, you know, exchanged, like, garden plants and stuff before. But anyways, reading on. Prior to choosing to follow her dream of becoming an author, she spent almost a decade joyfully working in a small-town local gourd farm as a parts maker, part of the finishing department, and proud member of a seasonal field crew. But yeah. So anyways, this is the uh, cover, final version of the cover of the uh, first book in her series. And I gotta say, it looks really awesome, and I'm really excited to get to reading it because I, Rin has actually sent me like excerpts from books that she's working on. She does really good work from what I've seen so far, and her stories seem to all be the kind of stuff that I like to read, which is generally like science fiction fantasy. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing this book come out, and I'm gonna see about probably doing a review for it after I get done reading it when it does, you know, officially come out. Anyways, this is uh, DJ Bonebreaker signing off. <laughs>